let's talk about technical task interviews. Your companies absolutely love them, but we developers hate them with a passion. Now, why that is that? Basically, we developers don't like to be asked to do something for free. It's going to take us an hour, an hour and a half of our time to prove something that we've done for years on end, if it's a senior developer. Why do companies like them? Basically, it's saying that our time as a company is more important than you as a developer. So you, we put this wall up in front of you so that you do this test to prove to us that you're worth it. Interviews are basically a deal, a deal negotiation. The developer is saying, I'm worth this to you, and the client is saying, prove to me that you're worth it. So there's two types of approaches companies take with technical interviews. The first form of technical interviews are the ones where the company puts a wall up where you have to prove to them that you're good enough for, as a developer before they even talk to you. For me, that's just downright bad manners. And I would say to companies that do that, stop doing it. Developers, unless it's a very famous company where you want to jump through lots of hoops like say Google, Facebook, then let's avoid it. At least spend some personal time either on the phone 10 to 15 minutes or in person before you send them the technical test. Um, a lot of technical challenges that I've seen will range between like 30 minutes or up to three hours if they ask you to build a, a website that will consume some data and you do some interactions with it. A good approach is if you have an expert in-house is to go to the expert and talk to the prospective candidates one-on-one -on -one. and a, a good expert will be able to tell if the candidate is suitable just through normally just conversations and if you really need to have a further up test then you can do that. What would be a, an actual good test that I like? Um, personally I really hate the, uh, the online tools that have uh, you know, coding challenges. Um, a better test is to take the candidate into uh, to sit down with you on a computer to look at a real world problem or a real application you're developing and ask them to show them how you go about fixing a bug. Um, that's an approach that I've, I've seen quite successful. Another way is actually to do paid interviews where you pay the, the candidate the amount of time that they spend uh, in the office usually or even at home doing a technical interview. It's very rare for companies do this but in a competitive market I think it's give you an advantage. The longest uh, paid interview that I ever took was for was basically a day, a day's wages I could pay to go on, go on site, talk to the client and then um, they decided to, to take me on. If you have a bunch of candidates that need interviewed for a front end, then you're welcome to contact me and I can help you on, the, on that process and teach you how to do it if you like. A lot of companies think they can get away with the, uh, the technical test because they think that there's a large pool of developers out there looking for a job and often times it is but one thing you will remember is that if you have too many tests or a large test process you'll put off um, the best candidates who don't have the time or the inclination to do those tests. So you have to think to yourself, do I want to save time interviewing or do I want to invest out more time uh, and get potentially the best developers for the price? So this are some things to think about. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll look back to you. Thanks for watching.